welcome students welcome today to my new video Foucault's pendulum this is the continuation of our, my last video on introduction to Foucault's pendulum in the last video we have seen an introduction what is a Foucault pendulum what it is being used for and what are the history behind the Foucault's pendulum and in this video we can see the physics behind the Foucault's pendulum and the mystery, a profound mystery is being embodied in the proof of pendulum and some interesting uh, ideas and concepts about inertia and the different views about the acceleration of a system from a far away bodies. Now I am having a question to you, please ponder over it, this question, think over this question. Do you think whether the Coriolis force will affect the motion of Foucault's pendulum? So if so, how will it affect its time period or its period of precision? We have already learned Foucault Coriolis force and an introduction to the Foucault's pendulum. Now think about it. What is the relation between the Coriolis force and the Foucault's pendulum's time period? This is a Foucault's pendulum placed above the surface of the earth at a particular latitude angle, lambda. Now you can see the Foucault's pendulum kept hung over this at this point above the edge surface at a particular position of the earth given by latitude angle lambda. Now as the, ang as the Foucault's pendulum is tilted you can see the angle and at the same time due to the earth, rotation of this earth there is a precession of this plane of plane of the vibration, plane of oscillation. So this is what theta, as time changes, the angle of the oscillation precesses and this, the change in the plane of the oscillation is given by the angle of precession theta. And the frequency, the natural frequency of this oscillation of this pendulum is root of g by l, where l is the length of the pendulum. And suppose if I am using r and theta as the coordinates, like in a spherical polar coordinates, and then r equal to r0 sine gamma t, where r0 is the amplitude of the motion. And now this oscillation of the bob of the pen or the pendulum is expressed in terms of r as r equal to r0 sine gamma t. There where gamma refers to the angle of the vibration. That means angle between the vertical and the length of the pendulum. As I know, as we already know that there are two forces acting on the pendulum bob. One is the restoring force as similar to the symbol pendulum. That is a component, the horizontal component of the gravitational force G sin theta is acting all the time which is the restoring force which is hap which makes the oscillation which, which makes the oscillation and the second force is as this is a heavy oscillate uh, heavy pendulum it's a very big pendulum and it is over the rotating earth the coriolis force effects will come into play and the horizontal component of Coriolis force, as we told, is already always perpendicular to the velocity of a body moving. So, as we know, the vertical component of the Coriolis force is negligible because it is, uh, because as we know that the angular momentum of the earth is almost vertical. So, the horizontal component of the angular momentum will be almost zero. So, for the vertical component of the Coriolis force is, is negligible, so we can neglect it. So here we consider only the horizontal Coriolis force. And the horizontal component of the Coriolis force is given by minus 2m omega sin lambda r dot theta cap. This is from the last video. Please refer to my last video on the horizontal component of Coriolis force. So uh, I am having a, a pendulum where I am using a spherical polar system where r and theta are the coordinates. Now, 
as we know that the net force is ma according to the according to the equation of motion and actually this is m into a is in the not in the subscript it is here a m into a theta actually this is a m a theta is f c so along the angle of angle theta direction the net force m a theta is the coriolis force so when i equate the equation of motion with respect to the horizontal coriolis force and equating the horizontal component of the coriolis force and the mass into angular acceleration so angular acceleration is given by r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot this is from previous videos uh, in a spherical polar system the component of acceleration along theta direction is given by r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot and that is what equal to minus 2 m omega sin lambda r dot and from here m can cancel out m uh, uh, cancel out and then will come r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot is equal to minus 2 omega sin lambda r dot and from here so this force equation in the theta direction is given by r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot is equal to minus 2 omega sin lambda r dot and uh, if I take theta dot is constant, theta double dot will become 0 and then this equation will become r dot theta dot, 2, 2 will cancel out, r dot will cancel out and theta dot will remain, theta dot is equal to minus omega sin lambda. So this is what the equation of the motion of the and then we pendulum. come to the precisional motion so of if someone asks you to derive the and equation you can of the see here, pendulum, you have to derive this. Uh, I am weaving this uh, from the O above the earth above that and means if I am speaking about the as earth rotates the plane of oscillation also processes as we told you that is the uh, given by the angle theta dot. So if I am speaking about the pendulum the pendulum processes uniformly in a clockwise direction the time for the plane of oscillation and as we know that the time period is given by 2 pi by theta dot with the angular velocity or uh, angular frequency and then the theta dot which is angular velocity which is omega is given by the last equation omega sin lambda. Now at a latitude of 45 degree if I put the value of 45 in the sign in this equation as we know 2 pi by omega that is 24 hours that is omega is the angular frequency angular velocity of the earth's rotation and that corresponds to the pure angular pe time period of the earth the, the, the time period of earth's rotation is 24 hours so 24 hours by sine lambda will be the period of precession of the Foucault's pendulum and if I am performing this experiment at lambda is 45 degree at a latitude then sine lambda which is sine 45 is 1 by root 2 24 into root 2 will be 34 hours and 34 hours will be the time taken by the Foucault's pendulum for completing one one complete rotation of the plane of vibration that means the processional motions time period is 34 hours that means that pendulum will take 34 hours and it was around one and a half days to complete one procession so two motions takes place in this uh, Foucault's pendulum one is a processional motion as well as the vibrational motion and the uh, the, free, the oscillations frequency is given by root of g by l or in the given by the time period 2 pi root of l by g Whereas the processional motion's time period is given by 24 by la sine lambda hours. So that means the de it depends on the place where you are conducting the experiment. So if I conduct this experiment at the equator, I will get uh, sine lambda is 0. That means at equator lambda is 0. So sine 0 is 0. 1 by 0 is infinity. I will get infinite time period. So that means it will be very difficult to undergo a processional motion at the equator. That means 
there is no F, the Coriolis force is very feeble and if I consider this at poles it will exactly persist in 24 hours that means at poles lambda is 90 sine 90 is 1 so the time period of the precession is 24 hours that means in one day the Foucault's pendulum will complete one processional motion now as the north pole at the north pole that period of precession is 24 hours the pendulum rotates clockwise with respect to the earth at the same rate as the earth rotates counterclockwise with respect to an inertial place the plane of motion remains fixed so this is quite interesting uttara dhruvathil ee focal pendulum in the time period the arthathil 24 manikur thane irikkum karanam dhruvangalil lambda latitude angle 90 degree aidu kondu sin 90 1 aanu 2 pi by lambda 24 by 1 is 1 so bhoomi de adhe speed il thane aanu adhe speed il thane aanu focal pendulum oscillate cheynathu appo oru divasam kondu precession oru uh, precision complete in Foucault pendulum. Adhesi method with respect to inertial space. Space inertial on a single peak angle. The plane of motion remains fixed. Karnam, Porthunal is inertial star in the number of Foucault's pendulum like no carnival. A star stationary on a single peak angle. Namakariam stationary along inertial observer in the Coriolis forces number we catch under. A plane of motion remains fixed. I reckon. That is why we can observe a processional motion in the star. In the first time, the Foucault's pendulum is an experiment with a profound mystery. It is a very important thing to do. It is related to the physics of the inertia. We come to the end of 